Hi guys, guys above here. First time driving since uh, I fractured my ribs. And um, I'm a little anal, just in case anybody was wondering. And in the hospital, they told me my ribs were broken. And only to find out that they're not broke, they're fractured, which is completely different. Anyway, um, I fell. I think it's 8 and 11 that I fractured. Um, you know, I'm feeling better. So, I figure since this is my first time driving, I'm going to record. Um, and since YouTube removed one of my videos, well actually, it was one video that I tried to upload twice, just using a different uh, title. And they got me for misleading medical information. So, before I begin speaking, um, I want you to, to hear this, uh, I am not a doctor, I don't play one on TV, I don't, um, how do I want to say this, you know, what I'm about to say, these are just my opinions, that's it, that's it, it's an opinion, and, um, as far as I can tell, Google slash YouTube has done away with our free speech, and um, I'm an, an American citizen, and uh, I thought that we still had the right to speak our minds, so I'm going to play a game. Uh, I saw this on another ch uh, channel. It's called a live action role play, a LARP session. LARP session. Um, so it's make believe. Let's pretend. Let's pretend we live in a world far, far in the future. And um, you know the people. I don't want to get in trouble, so I've got to be very careful, so please just bear with me, people. Um, the people of the United States, and I can only speak for the United States, and in fact, I'll just speak for Florida, because that's where I live, but I know other states are going through their issues, but um, let's pretend that Florida... came up with an illness and people were dying and uh, within a few months they came out with this shot and everyone was suggested to take it. I am a free, sovereign human being who has the right to my body. Now, if I'm wrong, correct me. I should have done this from home because on this new phone I bought, somehow I get this thing called smartness. Come on, man, just fucking go. Oops, oops, sorry, I'm talking to the traffic. I get this smart news, and um, I don't really like to watch the news, but I was going to quote you some topics that I've read. But I'm in the car, so. 
can't quit anything because I'm not going to drive and try to read at the same time. Um, there are... I mean, hesitate. Get back. Skip a page. Get back one page. I'm going to start with the Sky Watchers from across the earth. Um, and I'm not saying they're the only ones who've noticed the differences uh, going on. Uh, it's probably in the millions now. People notice that things are not quite what they used to be. And, um, unfortunately, I'm not blaming all the young folks. I'm just saying, from my perspective, the younger generation, um, they just don't give a fuck. They don't care. They live in their own little worlds bubble, uh, if the government or, you know, any official tells them to do something, they run right out and do it, they don't do their research, um, I, okay, again, you're gonna have to bear with me because I've got so much on my mind, uh, ribs are hurting, I really wanted to make a video. So, for those of you who knew me, I pay no, no attention to time. I don't care what the date is. I don't, I don't, it's not that I don't believe in time. I just think that here on this plane, time works much differently than other places. So, after I fell, I was in the hospital for a few days. They had an IV in me, which they were shooting me with freaking morphine. And then they were giving me Percocets. Um, and it, it was bad. I, I'll tell you, at 60 years old, I've never had a broken bone that I'm aware of. Um, in this lifetime, anyway. Uh, but it hurt. It hurts. Now I just completely forgot my train of thought. Well, that's the other thing. The short memory. It's just, it's gone. It's fucking gone. Um, you know, gone. Okay, here, here's what I wanted to say. So, they released me from the hospital, and then my so-called primary care doctor, which is a total and utter joke. Again, I'm talking about the state of Florida. Took approximately 11 days for her to see me as a follow-up visit after breaking my ribs. And besides breaking my ribs, I had a pneumothorax, which is a hole in my lung. So I go see this doctor, and of course it's not my regular doctor, it's another doctor now. And the first thing she tells me is I have to wear a mask, unless you're vaccinated. I said I'm not wearing a mask. I've got broken ribs, COPD, I can't breathe, I'm not wearing a mask. Well, um, they didn't want to see me. And I said, well, aren't y'all vaccinated? And aren't y'all wearing masks? So, you know. And then the other thing is, if you're taking these so-called precautions, where after I leave your office, you wipe it down, you spray it, you clean it, you disinfect it. Why are you so worried if I have a mask on or not? It didn't seem logical to me whatsoever. Um, uh, 
I wish I could go live. I really, I mean, I can. It just has to be from the house so I can see the chat. But, um, this world is so messed up. It is absolutely so messed up. Um, you know, talk about Mandela effects and parallel universes. I swear, I don't, I have no fucking clue where I'm at right now because this is not the world that I recall. It, it is not. Some is, is the same, and other things are totally different. And I'm glad that I'm not alone, because I know other people see the differences, the changes that have occurred. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to the Taste Cake Outlet store, just what I need, right? Freaking cakes. Um, and it's a crappy day. It's, uh, oh, what was that? Hurricane Fred or whatever. Whatever Storm Fred was. He's out. That, oh, you can't see. That way is to the west. So he's out in the Gulf. Uh, but it is cloudy and it's very humid and it's 91 degrees outside. But, um... So, anyway. This is my opinion. Like I said, maybe not necessarily a LARP session because I didn't go into the whole live-action roleplay thing. But, uh, it is strictly my opinion. These are my thoughts, YouTube. I am not misleading anyone. Anyone. I've said nothing, nothing I wasn't supposed to say or allowed to say. I wonder where the hell I'm at. Four years of being in Florida and you would think by now I would know where I'm at. I'm taking back roads and Maybe because I'm talking, I'm just driving on autopilot, but, um, it's all good. All good. So, um, I don't know if I can flip the camera. I don't know how to. I don't know how to flip it. I swear to God, I don't know how to flip it. Oh, well, I was going to show you outside. I don't know how to do that. Um... I think around 2012, maybe 13, um, I started having, I'll call them premonition dreams, um, and again, I see a lot of people, especially YouTube people, you know, they have that deep feeling that something bad is coming. Uh, something bad's already here. In fact, something bad has always been here. Um, the question is, are we the people, the awake ones anyway, going to do something? And I don't mean radical and violent. Um, you know, if you pray, okay, pray. If you meditate, meditate. Uh, whatever you're into, right? Just send your intentions out uh, that evil gets what they've got coming to them. Because uh, I think the earth will rebound. I don't know about humans, you know. So, anyway. 
way. to my teeth to cake store and boy did I I mean I didn't take the wrong way I just didn't go the way I wanted to so I'm gonna end for now um like I said my my ribs still hurt um but uh, I will do a, a live stream eventually you know, probably several days, few days, week. You know, don't don't hold me to that because, like I said, I don't I don't give a rat's ass about time. Uh, just said after my two week suspension, I'm back and I intend to do videos. Uh, yes, I'll show the sky, but uh, all along I've known that. I've had things I've needed to say, and, you know, I always keep my mouth quiet, but, uh, I'm not staying quiet anymore, I'm gonna chat, so, thank you all for watching.